In this video, we will review how to read a METAR and a TAF. Staying up to date on real-time weather data and forecasts is an important skill for pilots when doing pre-flight planning and making the go or no-go decision. While apps such as ForeFlight has made it much easier for today's pilots to interpret weather, it is still important for pilots to know how to read and decipher METAR and TAF reports. Student pilots will almost certainly face some questions regarding interpreting weather data found in a METAR or TAF on their private pilot written exam and oral portion of the checkride. TAF stands for Terminal Aerodrome Forecast and METAR stands for Meteorological Aerodrome Report. The letters KPIT signify the airport identifier, which in this case is Pittsburgh International Airport. The numbers 09 indicate the day of the month that the TAF report was issued. The numbers 17 and 30, followed by the letter Z, indicate that the issuance time for the TAF report was 1730 Zulu time. Now it's time for a quiz question. If you saw the digits 11, 2100 on a TAF, what would that mean? If you saw these digits, this would mean that the report was issued on the 11th day of the month at 2100 Zulu time. The numbers 0918 and 1024 indicate that this TAF is valid from 1800 Zulu time on the 9th day of the month to 2400 Zulu on the 10th day of the month. The numbers 15005 followed by the letter KT indicate that the winds are from 150 degrees true at 5 knots. The first three numbers indicate the true direction of the wind and the second two numbers indicate the wind speed. Now it's time for another quiz question. If you saw these two digits, what would that mean? If you saw these digits, it would mean that the wind is forecasted to be from 240 degrees true at 15 knots. The number five followed by the letter SM indicate that there is five statute miles of visibility. The letters HZ indicate that there is haze. As you can see, here is a list of letter symbols and what kind of weather they represent when you see them on TAF. The plus sign would indicate a heavy weather system, while a minus sign indicates a light weather system. No sign indicates a moderate weather system. The letters FEW followed by the digits 0 to 0 indicate that the cloud coverage and altitude for the cloud layer. The digits indicate the cloud layer height in hundreds of feet, so just add two zeros to the number to get the cloud height. In this case, the TAF is reporting few clouds at 2,000 feet. Here is an overview of the cloud coverage symbols that you will see on TAF and METARs. Cloud coverage forecasts are broken down into categories based on how much of the sky is covered with clouds. Cloud coverages are reported in how much of the sky is covered in eighths. For instance, a broken layer of clouds indicate that roughly five to seven eighths of the sky is covered with clouds to someone observing the sky from the ground. A scattered layer of clouds would indicate that a little more than a quarter to half the sky has an observable cloud layer. Below, you can see the cloud forecast symbols followed by the cloud heights in hundreds of feet. If you saw the letters BKN followed by the digits 002, that would indicate a broken cloud layer at 200 feet. If you see the letters SCT followed by 020, that would indicate a scattered cloud layer at 2,000 feet. The letters WS followed by the digits 010 
and 31022 KT indicate wind shear is present at 1,000 feet, blowing from 310 degrees at 22 knots. The letters FM mean from, so the first line would read, starting at 1930 Zulu on the ninth day of the month, the winds are forecasted to be from 300 degrees true at 15 knots, gusting to 25. The visibil visibility is forecasted to be three statute miles with moderate showers and rain and an overcast layer of clouds at 1,500 feet. The abbreviation tempo on the second line indicates weather conditions are temporarily expected to change between the hours of 2000 and 2200 Zulu on the ninth day of the month. Between these hours, the visibility is expected to drop to one half statute mile with heavy thunderstorms and rain. See the plus symbol followed by the letters TSRA. Remember, TS stands for thunderstorms and RA stands for rain. There is also forecasted to be an overcast layer of cumulonimbus clouds at 800 feet, as illustrated by the letter OVC, followed by the digits 008 and the letters CB. CB is an abbreviation for cumulonimbus. See the letter Letters PROB followed by the number 30 on the fourth line. This indicates that there is roughly a 30% chance of light rain and mist and one statute mile visibility between the hours of 400 and 700 Zulu on the 10th day of the month. The letters BECMG on the sixth line is an abbreviation for becoming. Next, we will review how to read a METAR report. In a METAR report, the airport identifier and time the report were published are in the same format as the TAF we previously reviewed. The letter COR stands for corrected, meaning that the weather report was updated by human intervention. Many weather reports are automated, and if you see the abbreviation AUTO, that means that the report is automated and there was no human intervention. For this METAR, the winds are from 220 degrees at 15 knots, gusting to 25 knots, and the visibility is three quarters of a statute mile. The letter R, followed by the numbers 28 and letter L, indicate that the runway visual range at runway 28 left is 2,600 feet. There is moderate thun thunderstorms and rain and an overcast layer of cumulonimbus clouds at 1,000 feet. The temperature is 18 degrees Celsius and the dew point is 16 degrees Celsius. The altimeter setting is 29.92. Thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe for more flight training and aviation related educational videos.